Hi, I'm Carrie. Thanks for checking out my video. Uh, this video is going to be about um, a follow-up on a tumbler quilt that I made. I posted a video on doing a crumb quilt with tumbler blocks using my AccuQuilt. And at that time, I was in the process of making all of my scrap um, blocks. So I have since, it's about a year later, it's now April... 24th 2021 so it's about a year later and the quilt is finished it's on our bed we've decided we're going to keep this one and so I just wanted to talk a little bit about my the reason for this quilt and then I want to show you the quilt and talk a little bit about the symbolism and what it means to me so every quilt has a story um, that's kind of been my mantra for quite some time. Um, the more I've learned about quilting over the years, the more I've learned there's always a story behind it, and some of them are quite fascinating. So this is the story behind this quilt. So in 2020, early in the year, of course, we were fighting the pandemic, COVID-19, and there was a shortage on masks. So since so many people needed masks, the doctor's offices, public places, nobody could get their hands on masks. I wasn't going to jump on the bandwagon at first because I figured it would kind of pass quickly and that we wouldn't need masks and, you know, um, all that. But I quickly discovered that there was this shortage and there was a lot of people in the community who were wanting them and were asking for them. So I figured I would do my part and I would chip in and make my masks. So I started making masks. I was using my Baby Lock Triumph and... Um, just all of my free time was spent taking these, uh, making these masks. I didn't ask for money for them. I did accept donations. And um, more than anything, though, it, it fulfilled my time, gave me a purpose, and made me feel like I was contributing to the solution um, to the pandemic. So I ended up and did end up making over 1,500 masks that went to people. And um, just various people. I have clients they went to, um, places downtown in St. Augustine, Florida, and the local area, friends, I mailed them all over the country, New York, Arizona, Colorado, within Florida, Illinois, uh, lots of places. So I had a lot of scrap um, as a result. So I wanted to use my scrap in a useful way and this quilt came together as a result. So I'm going to turn this around and I will show you the quilt. So the quilt is living on our bed, um, obviously in our bedroom, and it is about a king size quilt. It's probably a little bit longer than a normal king, maybe a little bit short, uh, more narrow than a normal king, but um, it's just about the king size, um, about a king size quilt. So the quilt has a story, and you can see all these tumbler blocks. Those, that's what I made out of the AccuQuilt dies. And they represent the chaos that we have been going through and we're really going through in the beginning of the pandemic. Um, all the leftover material, all these small pieces, there's no order to them. Um, some of them are just one piece of fabric, like this black one right here in the middle and the Minnie Mouse and then the scissors right underneath. So there are some that are complete blocks but most of them are bits of scrap that came together. So that represents the chaos. The next layer or the next piece is some bright colors. So you see that there's this green fabric with polka dots. So even amidst the chaos, there were still some good things happening, some things, you know, not everything was doom and gloom. So the bright colors with that just signify, you know, the things that were going right and the things that were good in the process. The triangles that are like going in this arrow um, kind of gives a little bit of motion. This is, these are called flying geese. That's the block if you're a quilter, you're familiar with that. But um, if not, there's a name for blocks have names and that's the name of this one. So the gray ones here with the green, they do change color around the, um, the quilt. And so that goes all the way around. So there it's white and green. So flying geese. So even though it was chaotic, there were some good things going on. And this is just signifying with the flying geese that were rising above it and um, will prevail. Then next to that, the border is black. 
and um, that signifies the loss of life. There was a lot of sadness um, in a lot of people's lives all over the world. And um, so the black is really to commemorate, you know, that feeling. Um, so it's not overpowering the quilt, but it's definitely an important piece of this quilt. Uh, I'm trying to move slowly because I don't want to give any get anybody dizzy. Um, on the black border, I embroidered this message just saying, you know, this is an honor of those that we lost to COVID-19. And um, I worked on it from uh, 2020 to 2021. And then my one of my favorite parts about this quilt too is this, what we call binding. That's what goes around the edge to uh, give it a nice finish. This is one of my favorite fabrics and it's a Tula pink fabric and I love the color pink. It happens to have pink in it. And so that just frames everything in a positive light. You know, everything is going to be okay eventually. It's going to be a long haul, but, um, you know, we're going to get there. And so it just brings that final glimpse of hope that everything is going to be all right. This is the back of the quilt. Delilah, my kitty cat, she's decided to join us. Um, she loves this quilt. She loves to sleep on this quilt all day long. So as I mentioned earlier, um, the fabric is mostly scraps from all the masks I made. The larger chunks of fabric that you're seeing here, they were purchased um, to make masks. And um, I haven't made any in several months. Um, they're readily available now, so there's not as a need for them like there was about a year ago. So there came a point where I just decided, okay, we're good with masks. Nobody was requesting them anymore. The demand wasn't there and um, people could find them. So um, not as much of a need for them. So I do a lot of unconventional sewing and quilting is no exception for me. So most quilts you see, they usually just have one fabric on the back and, uh, and it's usually just one, you know, pattern throughout the whole thing. But I wanted to use more of, of, of the scraps. I've, I've been in love with pinwheels. So these, these blocks are called pinwheel blocks. So I use some of the leftovers to make these pinwheel blocks, put that in the middle, and then just put these large pieces of fabric together. So that's my quilt. I hope that you um, enjoyed looking at it and hope it gave you some inspiration. Um, it did not, I didn't work on it every day for the past year. Um, it did take about a year for me to, to finish it, but I worked on a lot of projects um, in the meantime. So the quilting, it was quilted by someone who has what they call a long arm quilt. So I took it to someone to finish that for me because it was just too big to do on my regular machine. And it took a lot of that hassle away from me. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.